Students can focus, our opponents say students can focus more on a full stomach. We agree that you would want a full stomach to focus well, but you can just bring a snack from home or get one from the lunchroom. Then you wouldn't have to worry about the vending machine not working properly or getting stocked, and it lessens the cost. Therefore, if you have vending machines, you wouldn't get much more of a benefit. Our opponent also says snacks can help you get through the day, especially if you have extracurricular activities in the long afternoon. We agree that you would want snacks, but we wouldn't need vending machines to get them. It is very easy to just grab something from the lunchroom or bring a snack from home. This eliminates issues like the vending machine not giving you your snack and it lessens the cost. Therefore, we still don't need vending machines. Lastly, our opponent says vending machines have a great profit for the school. We disagree because, as we mentioned before, it costs $25,000 annually to replenish one vending machine. If you want to make a profit, you need to have junk food, which promotes more bad eating habits, or healthy food that nobody would buy. According to a quick poll we took in science, 100% of the people picked the salty, sugary snack option over the healthy snack option. In conclusion, vending machines would be a horrible idea for our school. Our opponents mentioned that vending machines are unhealthy, but we disagree. In a study found by, um, done by districtadministration.com, it shows that bottled water, trail mixes, and low-sodium chips are actually the highest-selling um, items in vending machines, all things that are, seem pretty healthy to me. Um, and our, or mostly, you know. <laughs> our opponents also said that it is more work for the janitor, um, but, which is true, but it's rarely, I mean, barely more work. You rarely have to reload a vending machine because of all the, vet, all the snacks that it can hold. And lastly, our opponents mentioned that snacks can be distracting to others in class, but it's usually the person chewing the snacks loudly that makes the snacks loud, not the snack itself. And also, you don't have to eat the snack in class. You can eat the snack in passing period in between your classes. Vending machines should be banned in schools. With the abundance of evidence we presented to you today, there is no way this cannot be true. Vending machines do promote bad eating habits. They also cause messes that are a nuisance to janitors and cause major distractions for students and teachers. And lastly, vending machines are expensive and a waste of money. They could be spent on more useful items like supplies and technology. The cost, bad eating, and messes to clean, is all that worth a vending machine? <laughs> vending machines should definitely be allowed in schools. People can focus better with a full stomach. Students have after school activities and need snacks. Vending machines can earn money for schools, which can be used to support the fine arts, extracurriculars, or purchasing additional electronics. After all this information that we have shown you, there is no reason being hungry can be the better option. <laughs> <laughs>